Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. This video, I'm going to show you some of the changes through the Denso injectors over the years, starting off with some really old parts. Now, when I say really old, we only had the 1KDs here in Australia from about 05, but the injectors were built up to, you know, a couple of years before that. So some of these injector internals are really quite old, getting close to the 20 year mark now. This set we got here in front of us they are from a 2006 120 Prado, and the reason I'm using those as an example is because, look, we didn't do the job on it. Obviously, it's a set of injectors I've got back, stripped down for the free contamination check, and um, is all clear, luckily. Bit dirty, though. Bit dirty. I need to give them a wipe. Just uh, put them down on the bench. wasn't 100% uh, clean. It doesn't matter, but they are clear of contamination, so that's the good news. Unlike, I'll just quickly show you this set in case you missed it. See that one? you see all that rust and corrosion on there um, you know plenty of pretty bad wear as well and that's what these have got we'll have a close look at those in a minute but just want to show you some of the changes on internals right so early days when they first start you know I suppose manufacture these injectors you know they kind of don't know how long they're gonna last and that sort of thing and they didn't not last well they just I suppose you know not always did they get changed when they needed to um, a bit like these seats let's talk about those quickly so they're certainly not the originals. I can tell you this is an 06 120 Prado with 324,000 kilometers. That's what these parts have done. And the reason I know that, well, I couldn't see the manufacturer date on the injectors, but the next step which happened, uh, I'm not sure in manufacturing, I can't remember exactly what month or year, but shortly afterwards, the next step was going to this DLC, because this is quite a wear area here on the command piston, and same here on the nozzle needle. So. You can see they've coated this part here, right? But but not the actual nozzle needle, you know, right on the end there. So, which is interesting, you know, that's otherwise, otherwise, you know, identical, other than the coating, you can see at this end here. So, so we know this is a really old original set of injectors and it was in a, a engine um, running at 324,000 Ks, which is, Pretty amazing. So you can't say, oh, you know, the injectors are rubbish and all that. It's just a matter of understanding when they're not working right, it's not going to be the best thing for your engine. Um, so let's have a quick look at these command pistons as we do sometimes. Okay. They actually look not too bad considering the amount of uh, wear on them. So it's actually butter bin, but I can guarantee you the readings would have been off their heads. I didn't see them, as I said, I didn't do the job. I'm just dealing with supplying the parts and the return of the old ones and a bit of uh, R and T, not R and D. Um, so you can see these seats, they would definitely change. What I can tell you about those is the original old copper seats, and they were just copper, as you can see here, um, and that wasn't planned, lucky I had one there. And you can still see these are still copper. Copper is the right product, but they came up with a coating to go over the top to make them last a bit longer. Now, there, again, there wasn't a problem with these. They were only ever designed to last 40,000 Ks, and I can tell you they lasted well over 100,000. In most cases, closer to 200. I've seen plenty of these original untouched, not leaking in the 150 to 180,000 K range that same sort of time period as these. These probably give them an extra 20, 30% is my belief, right? now. Well, I've said before, we see these leaking sometimes from the lowest ones. I've got them here on the board, the record breakers, 138K, 144, 166, 167. Uh, and look, there's not much else. The rest go up to over the 200,000K. So in most cases, they're going to last that long anyway, but they're not looking good. And is it worth it if they start leaking? Yeah, you can check your oil pickup, but you start making that mess in the engine. It's just not worth it. You're best doing it as prevention. So these seats here, you can see, we'll get this one out of the picture for a minute. So these change, that's what I was saying. First, in manufacture in vehicles in Australia, the first month 2008, they had these revised coating, right? On the 12th 07, they were still using these, which isn't a problem, but they do last a bit longer. So it's always best to own, if you can, if it's not too late, you know, if you're looking at purchasing, it's always best to own a 2008 onwards because it's got this coating so there's less chance that it's got or had the blow by and it all depends on the Ks. If you own one around the 200,000 Ks, if you can find one around 200, it's probably pretty good because although the injectors are flogged uh, and need replacement if they haven't been done, um, 
you at least know they haven't done, gone too far. Like the 324,000k thing, not good. You know, some damage may have been done to the pistons. You don't know. Uh, time will tell over the next 50,000 k's if, uh, you know, uh, bad news, crack piston. So let's see what happens there. And of course, in other videos, I'll let you know more. So now I'll give you some good news and some bad news in some part numbers. So they obviously, they went to this DLC there and I think I've seen DLC coding on that part number. So these are like the 120 Prado, so sort of mid 06 to around mid late 09. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen that part number um, with the coating all the way over the nozzle. But you know what? I think they might have been the Bailey's ones only. I can't remember to be honest. So um, anyway, I'll show you one other component they put the coating on. See, these are the um, solenoid valves. Okay. Um, I nearly got confused and called them spindles or something because some diesel companies do or used to call I don't know what components is a spindle you know is this the spindle is this the spindle you know yeah, let's just keep them the correct parts you know um, you've got the solenoid on the top of the injector and this is the solenoid valve these are the command pistons I'm holding one a piston even if you like but command piston keep it simple otherwise if we say pistons immediately you think engine right same as brake components we you know when we say piston you need to say that piston in the caliper we're talking brakes you know because there's other pistons and in a caliper uh, i mean this works very similar but at least in a caliper the brake piston it kind of looks like a piston you get the picture where this doesn't look a lot like a piston does it right anyway and uh nozzle needles okay nozzles are the bit on the end and these are the needles that go in the nozzle needles command piston solenoid valve anyway so originally again no coating and these so these are also quite a wear and tear item and that's why confirmed by the change of parts and the dlc coating right so some injectors come with dlc on the solenoid valve so top and the nozzle on the bottom so that's two out of three parts so it's kind of oh it's a bit of bad news now let's go to the good news some other part numbers uh, like um, again not plenty here you go here's a different one this is out of a 150 Prado full DLC right because they've got a DLC nozzle uh, <laughs> get it right uh, solenoid valve right they've got a DLC command piston and they've also quite a different and they've coated the whole thing, including the end of the nozzle, uh, nozzle needle, right? Which is why we call them, that's your full DLC, because they're your three main wearing components, really, um, that can be replaced. And perhaps when you get into these sorts of injectors, there's a chance you can rebuild them successfully or almost successfully. And I'd suggest that the wear's not happening here because of the coating. I don't believe the wear's happening here either. Um, the wear's happening on the nozzle needle. So if you had full DLC injectors and you just changed the nozzle needle, and of course they should be a lot cheaper if that's all you did. They should be really cheap. I mean, that's such an easy, undo the nozzle, change the needle, a bit apart. We're talking about, it should be a few hundred bucks for a service. It shouldn't be the same price for a, say a remanufactured injector. If that's all they're doing, then it can't be the same price as a new set of injectors or almost new, because that, that's just not fair. It's not a new injector, it's just a, nozzle needle or a nozzle it might be the nozzle and the needle right and a recalibration so a few hundred bucks maybe 400 bucks like the old injectors that were fully rebuilt and you know things like that similar probably amount of time um, if it wasn't that sort of price then it's just not worth it in my opinion you just go for brand new genuine denso so some part numbers have those so if we say full dlc that's what we're talking right upgrades to that because some of the older ones um like Here's a 150 Prado older one to go next to that one. Same, same, right? And you can see the wear on it. This is probably not a bad one, but can you see that wear there at the top there? That, that's a pretty good one, actually, but we could go through and find a whole lot more worse, but that's not this video. Um, you know, like, we'll just plonk that one there for you to look at, you know? Like, I don't know. what depends what angle you're on. If you're here with my eyes, you could see it. I could zoom in, but it's all in other videos, guys, so watch that. We're not going to take too much longer. Um... These seats were obviously changed a long time ago. They were changed, obviously, after when the new ones were re released. And let's just have a look at the other side. You can see eroded away quite badly. They did have blow-by. I'm not sure if it was... I would say it was a pretty clean replacement because you can't see the black bits of carbon on the bottom of the seats, which you normally see if someone hasn't done a clean job. So I'd say pretty good replacement. The seating area looks pretty good. I just think that they've done 
200,000 kc, eroded out there, eroded out that side. You can start to see all the copper there. They were, le either these were leaking or the other old ones leaked. Again, I didn't do the job. I can tell you the injectors were covered in black carbon. Some of the worst ones I've seen for a while. So, Steve, if you're watching, these are yours. And um, I, now I know why you enjoyed the job so much, because they were absolutely filthy. Anyway, guys, this was mainly just to show you. That's a bit more information with the seats, showing you some of the changes from these components and these over to that. Um, some of the injectors come with DLC this part they don't have DLC there and they have DLC there so they're a bit like uh, a bit like these three components here so you kind of go oh yeah it is a bit disappointing and I wish they'd change it but um, they don't the good news is those injectors are about a hundred bucks cheaper so lucky you right um, there's one way to look at it and even though we're seeing this not wearing so that's really good and these still get the wear on them and it's a reason they're going to need to be replaced every you know that 150 to 200,000 k range with these probably closer to the 150 would be advisable but that being said you can see these have done 320 so you can do whatever you want guys i'll just give you the information it's up to you to decide when you want to replace it that's the way it works keep watching the videos the information's there you can hit me up for a set of injectors on a monday after 8 30 a.m with a text message or you can push them out to 300,000 k's like this you can change them then if you like but yeah, I, I don't know. That's not what I would do. What do I do? On the 120, we're going to change injectors every 150 regardless of time, um, which is probably a bit too much for some people, but that's maintenance. I say, look, that's about five years, 150 is about that. It's a long time. It is a long time. Um, on these sorts of things, I would push those injectors with the DLC coating, not these ones. I'd push these, this arrangement, out to around the 200,000 mark if it was my car. And, but I'd get it done in sort of three, four or five years. If it's seven years and it's lower case, you still need seven or eight years, you know, thereabouts, that's around about the best guide I've got for you. Um, but being, what else can I say? You can see the wear, so they went from that to that. So what, what a point I'm trying to make towards the end is, um, even though these ones don't have, um, go back like this again. So you got your solenoid valve covered. This is working pretty well anyway, simply because what happens with these, if you watched any of our other videos, some of them might be in the VIP group and you can't get to them yet. But there's wear on that nozzle needle there. It wears through the coating. So therefore, for this reason, they need to be replaced anyway because we're still not trusting anyone. Um, perhaps it's something that we'll go into later, replacing these nozzle needles ourselves. Um, it just, later, I'll say later, you never know what's going to happen. But for the sake of it, you just want all you got electronics you got a solenoid on top as well there's other upgrades changes in the injector body quality finish and all that sort of thing over time so anyway this looks like even though it's this is good news whoops this is good news and that's bad news it's not so bad because they're wearing anyway so the injectors need to be replaced for that reason mainly um, probably not as urgently as what these do you, if you're wondering what that flash was we're directly below a skylight in the workshop and that's when the planes fly over <laughs> every now and then anyway that's what it was um nice sunny day plane flies over um butter bing guys that's it hopefully you got something out of that just trying to share the info if you want to have a look at a few other trash uh you know these worn command piston type you know this is what they should look like you know i can give it hand you want, whatever you want you know, they're endless mate all right bucket loads of them anyway so butter bing thanks for watching Hope you got some out of it. If you did, please remember to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe, guys. Um, we've got some more information coming your way um, that suits any diesel engine. You don't want to miss out on that. Um, and it's going to be an awesome way to save fuel, so saving you money and other awesome information. Just look at the comments. Don't believe me that it's a good channel. Believe the people by reading those comments. You want to be subscribed. Have that bell on so you don't miss the information as it comes in. And... Um, Bada bing, there's lots of old videos, you need to work your way back slowly and have a look. What I normally say, if you've got time, you might watch a video at night, one that comes in, and you might watch one more. That way you're sort of catching up slowly, you know. There's only a few hundred videos out there, you've only got, if you do one a day extra, you're only about two years behind. So in two years, you'll be up to date. Two videos a day minimum, and you're in business. You're, you are informed. Bada bing, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Catch up.